People on internet forums have often said that anyone who listens to you is drinking the Kool-Aid, which means both blindly jumping on the bandwagon and being a team player in reference to the Jonestown suicides. Mm -hmm. The media says that you are worse than Waco, referring to the USA government fight with the Branch Davidian movement. What do you say to these people? <laughs> <laughs> I find these comments laughable, to be frank. These are comments that are made by people who obviously have some very severe fear issues within themselves and have no, it has no resemblance to the truth whatsoever. I am definitely not going to encourage anybody into a mass suicide. I disagree completely with suicide. I feel that while it's unfortunate that many people do, on earth do suicide, I feel they have very severe emotional reasons for doing so, none of which I can agree with uh, suicide being the option. I feel instead it would be better if they work through the particular emotions that are driving them to suicide. When it comes to drinking the Kool-Aid, in other words, everyone who listens to me is just sort of uh, agreeing with me all the time, I cannot agree with that at all. If the average person comes along to a talk of mine, they will see that a fair majority of the people at different times do not agree with me at all. And, uh, and I do not expect them to agree with me. However, I expect them to treat me in a respectful and loving manner while they're at one of my seminars that I've paid for the seat of. Um, and so I'm certainly going to expect that they, they treat me in a manner that shows at least some respect. However, I don't expect them to believe me, worship me, follow what I say, do what I say, I am just sharing with them information about what I've learnt, that is all. I certainly am not going to get any Kool-Aid, poison it, and then ask people to drink it. Such, it's such a ludicrous extension to make these illogical assumptions. I feel that people are so illogical, like if they listen to 700 hours there is now of unedited material on YouTube, about what I present and if after listening to all that material they actually assume that I'm going to at some point suggest a mass suicide they are crazy to be frank <laughs> not me they are crazy because it is, a, it is something that has never crossed my mind so so I believe that people who have the who say these things about me are just fear-mongering and being controlling and manipulative of other people who are afraid if, it, if the average person came along to a seminar, they, they would feel very similar to any person who attends any, any seminar on any matter, let alone a religious one, if there is such a presentation of religious matters even in our seminars. So I feel quite strongly that these accusations are so far from the truth, they are manipulative, controlling, they are lies, and at some point in time, I would suggest to any person listening to it that they come along to a seminar and see for themselves. Or they look at the 700 hours of YouTube seminars that are already there in context and see what is actually going on. I am just a guy presenting a heap of information to anybody who wants to listen. That's all I am.